Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another episode here at Mr. Omar's Classroom Reading Library. Story time session, A Pair of Socks by Stuart J. Murphy. And this is also one of Mr. Omar's favorite stories here. It's such a great story. And let's see why I like it. A Pair of Socks. Here's a sock here sticking out, and the sock says, I'll never be worn. It doesn't seem fair. I'm missing my match. I'm not part of a pair. So you see, the sock is talking and is so sad because he's missing his, the other sock. This one's stinky and grimy. So this one here is stinky and grimy in the laundry basket. See that? So the sock said, this one's stinky and grimy. And not quite like me. So are these two the same? No, well, let's see. I, I, they're both blue. That's something that they both have. They're both blue. And they both also have red in them. They're both socks. But if we look closely, we'll see that this one has one, two, three red rings. And this one only has one red ring. Also, this one is clean. And as it said in the story, this one is grimy and dirty. Keep moving with this book. I'm trying to hold it. The book is just falling down. All right. This one, sudsy and slimy. It's in the washing machine. <laughs> and not the same I can see. So let's look at this one. Well, they're both socks. And uh, they both have blue and they both have red. But this one has yellow and green. And this just one, this one just has red and blue. This one also has yellow, red, and green. Oh, it's definitely not the same sock at all. This one's all warm and fluffy. Not just red and blue. Wow. So we see this one here, it's a sock, but has also a little picture of a dinosaur on it, looks like, right? Yeah, it's green here, yellow as well. This one is just simply red and blue. So that's not its pair. It's still sad, it's looking for its other pair. Looking for its other, it's looking for its match. Here we go. This one's folded and puffy. But spots are wrong too. This one has little dots on them. And this one here is just Red and blue stripes. So here we have like dots or spots, as they said here. And this one's stripes, right? So it's not a match. I've been grabbed by the pup. <gasps> oh no. The pup grabbed the sock, guys. Can we? His basket's not far. I wonder where he's going with the sock. I was going to give up. But here you are. So now the sock has found its match. But look what happened as a result of the pup grabbing it. Uh oh, I wonder what's happening, what's gonna happen next. I finally found you, but my heel has been torn. What terrible luck, we still won't be worn. So now that the sock has found its match, 
So now it's a pear, but it's been damaged by the pup, by the puppy. Let's see what happens. Our problem is our problem is solved with a simple blue patch. Our problem is solved with a simple blue patch. We'll travel together, me and my match. My problem has been solved with a simple blue patch. We'll travel together, me and my match. Wow. Super. I love it. Can you find a match for each sock? Can you find them? I think I see a few couple. Can you find the match at home? I think I see some. Well, that's our story for today. A Pair of Socks by Stuart J. Murphy. Hope you guys enjoyed that at home. And until next time, we'll see you again soon here at Mr. Omar's Classroom. Thanks. Bam.